asking you, which Premier League club do you think has the best chance of winning the UEFA Champions League? Here are the results. Liverpool, 26%. Man City topped the poll on 42%. Manchester United are actually second on 28 And Tottenham with just 4%. Stephen, what do you think of that? City, 42% uh, of our viewers feel they have the best chance of winning the Champions League tonight. They destroyed Schalke 7-0 on the night, 10-2 on aggregate. This quadruple is still on. Yeah, a, you would think City, of all of the English teams, they're best place to probably go on and win it. Mm. Guardiola in charge, the squad they have, the depth of the players. Like Aguero's on fire, scoring goals left, right and centre. Um, Sterling has been in unbelievable form. Um, they're missing De Bruyne, who's possibly going to be out for a little bit. But in the depth of the squad and the way they've been playing and with someone who's actually been in that position before, you would think Van City are best, best positioned. Mm. I saw Richie was it Pep yesterday saying that we're, we're only teenagers in, the, in mm. the kind of development of this competition. Like he's far from a teenager in the UEFA Champions mm. League, but you know, can you see them as winners? I suppose I, I know what he's mm. trying to say mm. that in terms of the, the, the history of the standing of the clubs, Man City don't belong in the same conversation as some of the other European giants. But as Stephen said, in terms of their squad, the quality of their manager, the 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 way that they've invested in their squad over the years, their performance tonight and that results. To score that many goals at this stage of a Champions League, I would agree totally with the poll mm. that City would be the strongest. Liverpool have a very, very difficult tie yeah. tomorrow. Even just to get to the quarterfinals, they need a huge performance. I was here when we did the first leg. It was very flat from both teams, mm -hmm. in fairness, so need a big improvement from them tomorrow to get through against the Bayern team who've picked up domestically in a big way. And of course, Stephen, there is still this debate, I know, amongst Liverpool fans. Oh, well, it won't be the end of the world yeah. if <laughs> Liverpool go out of the Champions League because they can focus then on the yeah. Premier League. I, I think that's just a bit naive. I, I, yeah. You know, you're in a massive competition like this. You, I know that Liverpool were going to be happy with everyone. They want to win the Premiership. It's been such a long time. They've never won it, obviously. So that's where they're going to want to put their focus. But coming so close last season, to win a Champions League, is, it's an amazing feat. So if that was what they were to go on and do, then they'd be happy. They have a good squad. They've, they have got depth in players. They're, you know, they're not pushing thin. They've, injuries are not rampant at the moment. People are coming back fit. Gomez, hopefully we get back as well. So you know, I think Liverpool fans are playing it down a little bit. I don't think they want to get too excited because they're afraid that they might just miss out on everything, which is be a disaster of a season considering how much they've put into it and how close they've gone in the last couple of campaigns. Mm.